Splinks is the radio server that is connected to QuickBooks accounting software. Both systems has own database of customers. QuickBooks has 20 entries and Splinks has 29 customers right now. The first step we need to push customers from Splinks to QuickBooks. To do it, I'm opening the QuickBooks tab inside Splink software and I'm starting to sync customers out from Splinks to QuickBooks. Clicking the sync button inside Splinks add-on, I got my customers pushed to QuickBooks accounting software. Now let's generate the page of invoices for next month. So I'm just confirming the period of time and I generate the invoices for my customers. I can find them in invoices tab. So here we see the period of time for generation of invoices and also I can sort my invoices and I see the paid and unpaid invoices. And important is QuickBooks ID field. The QuickBooks ID field will start to appear as soon as Splinks pushes the invoices to QuickBooks software. So now I have all invoices sorted based on ID and I have the IDs inside the QuickBooks. Amount is 795 unpaid and 559 paid. The same information was pushed to QuickBooks. In QuickBooks are equal invoices and customers now. And also information about the payments. So the payments I receive on Splinks and the payments are pushed to QuickBooks. Let's add one payment on Splinks. Now I can find the payment in the payment section inside the Splinks. And here I see there is a QuickBooks ID and when I find the client, which is named Leo Rodriguez here, I will see that the payment was also added to his account. That's the last payment. Let's choose a different customer and let's try to pay his account from his customer portal and credit card. So this is the customer Stefan and invoice is not paid. I'm logging to his portal and I can pay a credit card. So I'm simulating the behavior of end customer. I'm paying the credit card and the invoice is paid. The client can find his invoice inside the client portal. And also this invoice and payment information was pushed to my QuickBooks. So let's open the clients and find the Stefan here. Yes, here is the last payment. And if I click on the payment that even will show me that it was paid by credit card and authorized.net payment gateway was used. Here it is. So this is how Splinks can be integrated with QuickBooks software and thank you for your time.